the war with Novgorod is over. We've taken Novgorod and Rival, and I need to mothball the fort in Novgorod. I'm not going to mothball the fort in Rival because uh, there's going to be an uprising over there soon, hopefully. Um, but I'm going to move my army in there to hopefully reduce it in Rival so that we only get Narva, like troops from Narva and Dorpat. Um, we fed our vassal, Bellow Zero. And... I think it's time that I did something. It's time... One second. It's time to convert to reformed. A, a rent center of reformation could appear in a European province. Reformed becomes the new state religion of Poland. Lose 100 prestige. I'll post it negative 8. Uh, the Heretico Comburendo Act will be removed from Poland. Gain money. Huh, we're going to have a ton of it. Uh, Center of Reformation could appear in a European province. Poland gets religious zeal for plus 10% religious conversion against heretics. And... Um... I think now I'm going to start converting the Catholic uh, provinces if I can. We can't convert there because we converted them recently. But uh, we have, where did, did we get a center of reformation? We did, in Lublin. So let's start converting provinces that are not around Lublin. So I want to convert... Hold on. Um, I can pass the Declaration of Indulgence Act, which will uh, suspend all penal laws for members of other religions than the established church and grant them the freedom of public worship and rights of advancement to military and civil offices. Um, yep, let's do that. Uh, don't want to pass that. I will pass the Act of Uniformity. Take further steps towards a unified church by enforcing church attendance and the set order of prayers and uh, to be used in the Book of Common Prayer. And is there anything else I want? We need admin strength of at least, uh, admin skill of at least, oh no, I'm not going to pass that. Those all look fine, I think. We're now at 1.6 tolerance of heretics. Actually, will that change? No, 1.6 is where it is. Um, our religious unity is at 73%. And I think I should start converting the Catholic provinces that are not around Lublin. I need to keep that in mind. Wisna. Wisna is not right next to it. So that will be our first one. And... It's time to do it. Replace the personal union between Poland and Lithuania with a real union, welding the two countries together in one into one powerful state capable of withstanding our enemies. Changes to Commonwealth, inherit Lithuania, gain Lithuanian as accepted culture, gain permanent claim on Poland region, gain one base tax in Kelmno, and 25 prestige. Which is actually really good, considering we just lost a bunch from converting religion. My charm has certainly done wonders for our nation. Thanks to you, we have inherited the throne of Lithuania. 
Okay. So, we are the Commonwealth now. Not sure if that was a good idea or bad. We'll, I get, we'll probably see. Actually, that increased our religious unity. I am surprised. But we are still ex we still have a ton of revolt risk right now. Um, might have been a bad idea. Can we get a? We can. Okay. What's our revolt risk look like now? That's pretty good. I'll take it. Why are we losing so much money? Advisor maintenance, state maintenance, army maintenance, fleet maintenance, fort maintenance. Mothball all of them. Still kinda crap on our money. Let's move, let's make sure all of our troops are moving to roughly our nation. Let's wait a day. No? Oh, they need to get some, uh, they need to get, uh, basically our troops are different than theirs, so we, they need to get some morale before we can move them. Across our country there is an outrage over, uh, that we would ally with a nation who holds provinces, which are rightfully ours. Um... Did I get, is that, that's the region of Poland. Perhaps a policy change is in order? What is Bohemia's opinion of us? Um, it's not necessarily good. I'll put a positive spin on things. I'm willing to lose the 25 Diplo power for now. Um, I may use the permanent claim someday. That's why I'm not rev like a actually revoking the claims. So I'm willing to lose that. Um, that frees up one of our Diplo, Diplo slots, though. Okay, so what what do I need to do now? Right, I need to I have states that I can make. Vilna with sixty three development. Let's go for it. Riazan with 35. Well, Casamont's in Riazan? It is. Okay. But yeah, we'll make that a make that a state. Which one is this? Oh, apparently that's not a state core. Oh well, well, we'll take care of it after we make everything we can a state, or everything that's worth it into a state. Uh, Tver and Moscow with 34 and 32 respectively. Tver, Moscow, Samogitia. How much was it? They have 30 there. How many more states can we make? We can have a maximum of 20, and we've got 16. Alright. Um, hold on. 
Let's see which ones are the highest. Pripyat, West Nepper, Smolensk, and Minsk. That's one of them. That's another. Smolensk. And Minsk. And now we have all 20 states that we can have. I'm curious now, what is the Lithuanian percentage? 10%. Still 29% Polish, but uh, our trade income is probably about to go through the roof too. Um, let's recall our merchant from here and send them to Novgorod, even though we do have the highest trade power there. I think most of it's still being moved forward. Yeah, let's move our merchants there. From Kiev, was it? Yeah, Kiev. And so 14.12 is our current uh, income from trade. Corruption. You can try to eradicate the problem or ignore them. Corruption is one of the most common and frequent factors of political and economic life. Never in history has this been more prominent than in these times of feudal regimes. Ignore them. Sure enough, I get this right after my country increased by how much? More than double? We'll ignore them. Because uh, that all that new development is going to cost me with all that corruption. See, we're losing 35 a month now. But uh, we're not at war right now, so I'm fine with that. We'll move these guys down to Revolve as well. Trade embargo cancelled. Our Chancellor reports Ottomans allows our merchants access to their markets again. Nobody cares. Um, I do need to do something else. We're actually making money. Okay, we well, never mind. We made 78 from Spoils of War that month, uh, that last month. Okay, so we don't have the most uh the highest amount of What do they have here? Oh, a trading posts. Okay. Um but yeah, I thought we would have the most power there. Oh well. I think I need to get rid of some of these forts. I also need to assign some new provinces to uh, to the clergy and the Nobility. Uh, is there a states map mode? I can't remember if I, if there, if I remember seeing one or not. States and territories. Do I have that under something else? Probably not under that. Religions. No. 
Um, let's add it in here. Okay, so everything in green is a state, I'm guessing. In other words, what's not a state? <laughs> um, let's find the... provinces with... that would be best to give them out. That's a, that actually wouldn't be too bad of a clergy province because uh, they're grain producing and uh, that will actually negate the autonomy from uh, to base tax. So it's not a huge loss actually. So the clergy is good. We need now the nobility. For them, it's manpower. That's not too bad. Again, it's a grain province. It's pretty low development overall. Cast mob is wool, but Columna might be a good one. Yeah, let's do that. Is that it? Nope. Still need another one. Hey, that's a good one. No, never mind. I don't. That would decrease the trade power in uh, Memel. All right, let's find a, an easier way to do this development. Um, okay, I can't actually sort by the highest manpower here. Let's check the ledger then. Base manpower. All right, so is there any Miss Sloth is a one one one? Okay, it's not in a state. That explains why I don't remember seeing it. Um, hold on. One, one, two. Metava. Of course, that's not in a state. Lock, I think, is already in a, uh, an estate. Yep, it's part of the clergy. I mean, I'm, I have to wonder, is there a 
place I don't know of that I can go to check where I can have the base uh, tax production manpower displayed and also the uh, the Zaporze. Probably not, I'm guessing is the answer. It's probably down. Yep, that's one. That's right there. Uh, where I can see whether it's in a state uh, and also whether it's part of a um, of an estate or not already. Sits no or sit no. Nope, clergy. The Tebsk. The Tebsk. It's right there. Sorry if this is not that interesting, just going through a ledger right now. Mosiers. Let me see that one again. M O Z. Oh, that's one I already gave. Vanden. Probably one I've already given. Columna, I think I did that one as well, didn't I? Yeah, I'm positive now. Oops. Columna, Basarabia, up into the threes. Potale. Something tells me that one's already in, uh, in an estate too. Threes. Memo, I think I already gave that to an, that one I already looked in is an estate. Oka? Check memo just to be sure. Oh nope. That's uh that one actually works. We'll give it to the nobility. It's about time I found something. Okay, now we play the waiting game. More of the waiting game. Hungary is no longer a valid rival for me. A truth with Bellow Zero has ended. I have too few rivals. I can rival Bohemia or England. Let's rival England. Why does... Bohemia's opinion on me went way down. Okay. I can revoke the embargo on Hungary. I don't know who I actually just, uh, they are rival to France, Burgundy and Aragon. Those sound like important uh, countries to possibly ally. I'll issue an embargo against England. Hey, Burgundy. They hate me. Am I a rival to them as well? Yeah, I am. Hey, Aragon. We can improve our opinion, uh, their opinion of us. Huh, the Trasimars are not, aren't even, uh, in... They're not even...
the Tresmars are not even the dynasty, ruling dynasty in Castile anymore. In fact, the dynasties of... Oh no, okay, that's a regency for Enrique. Enrique Galvet. The Papal State's getting big in this one. The Papal State, Papal France. That's kind of surprising. Hungary is at war. Hungary is at war with the Ottomans again. Um, I need to work on decommissioning some of these forts. I think Kovno seems a little extraneous, or no, uh, Inflanti does. Um. Mojesk. Seriously, they went that way? I don't think they're going to be able to get through there. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think I see any more forts that are uh, really more than what they what I need to have. We got five new light ships out of that. Bring them back up. We'll bring them up to the Baltic Sea. And I probably have a significant increase. Nope, not even not a significant increase to my uh, naval force limit. We actually can't. That's actually more ships than we can uh, are supposed to be able to field. But uh, yeah, I, there's a lot to do right now, including letting our manpower recover a little bit and uh, just uh, administering our realm right now. We've joined the Reformation. Uh, we're gaining Splendor pretty steadily right now. We gained seven a month, so... Uh, before you know it, we'll be able to take the Polish crown power, and that'll be, that should be great, so, but I am definitely ending the episode now.